Hello everyone. In this session, we will be discussing about Coriolis's acceleration. What is Coriolis's acceleration? Coriolis's acceleration occurs when the distance between the two points on the mechanism is not fixed. That is, it is defined as the additional acceleration component of the moving point on the link which is also moving with respect to another fixed link uh, to make it more clear as in the case of shaper mechanism where a slider moves inside the slaughter where the slaughter is also moving as well as the slider is moving inside the slaughter so in the same way we have an additional component which is acting on a body like in this particular case we have a link in which point B which is the center of the slider moves to the final position B dash instead of point D so this additional movement from E to B dash is due to the Coriolis component and the acceleration which is perpendicular to this motion is the Coriolis acceleration so it is defined as the additional acceleration component of the moving point on the link which is also moving with respect to another fixed link actually we have seen that total acceleration of a point with respect to another point on the same link is vector sum of their radial and tangential acceleration that is total acceleration of a point is equals to the vector sum of radial acceleration and tangential acceleration so now to find the magnitude of the correlation component let link OA moves to new position O A dash as shown by the dotted lines with uniform angular velocity say omega radian per second in a very small time interval say del t that is the angular velocity is that is at a small time interval del t it is moving with angular velocity omega radian per second angle between OA and OA dash is being say d theta the slider B moves outward with velocity say V meter per second on the link OA and occupies the position B dash in the same interval of time that is at time delta T the position of OA is OA dash and the position of point B that is the slider is at B dash so considering the motion of the slider from point B to B dash it has three stages what are these three stages first is from B to D due to rotation of this link OA as it is rotating from OA to OA dash it is making angle D theta so the position of B to D then from D to E due to outward velocity V of the slide B and third is from E to B dash due to the acceleration which is perpendicular to link OA and this is the correlation component 
which we need to identify clear so the third motion of the slider is known as correlates acceleration now let us consider the last part that is arc e b dash this arc e b dash is equals to arc c b dash minus arc c e and this c e is equals to b d so arc e b dash you can see in the figure is equals to arc c b dash minus arc c e and arc c e can be written as arc b d now from triangle b o d and c o b dash we know that angle del theta is equals to arc upon radius that is the distance ob into arc is bd upon ob is del theta or we can write bd equals to ob d theta and similarly we can write cb dash equals to o c del theta that is in place of arc cb dash we can write oc into del theta this is the radius that is the from point o if the circle is drawn so c will be the radius oc in the same way arc bd can be written as ob into del theta as angle equals to arc upon radius so the angle between the arc is del theta then oc minus ob from the figure oc minus ob is bc and this bc is equals to de that is the displacement at time del t when the speed is v so this de can be written as speed into time that is speed of the slider into time so we can write des motion of slider into time that is the outward velocity v of the slider at delta time delta t time that is v into delta t so in place of and also we know that rate of change of angular displacement is angular velocity that is d theta by d t is omega so d theta is omega into d t let this be equation 3 this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 so from 1 2 and 3 in place of de we can write v into d t and in place of d theta we can write omega into del t so our arc eb dash is equals to v dot omega into del t square now if we assume that omega is constant here fcc is the correlates acceleration we are denoting the correlates acceleration by fcc if we assume that it is constant and angle del theta is very small so in place of arc eb dash we can write the linear distance eb dash and we know that distance displacement sorry displacement is ut plus half at square where a is the acceleration and t is the time period so from that we can write eb dash 
e b dash is equals to ut plus half acceleration into delta t square and we know that initial velocity is zero so e b dash is equals to half fcc into delta t whole square that is equation 5 one equation is equation 4 where r is equals to v omega into delta t square and another is e v dash that is r e v dash equals to half fcc delta t square now from equation 4th and 5th we can find the value of correlation component of acceleration that is half fcc delta t square is equals to v omega delta t square this can be cancelled and we get the value of the correlation component of acceleration as 2v omega this is the required expression for correlation component and it is been calculated when the distance between the two points in a mechanism is not fixed as here point B is not fixed now what are the directions of this correlation component as I said that it is always perpendicular but when and how it changes let's see So, direction of the correlation component of acceleration that is FCC is shown in figure 1, 2, 3 and 4. It has been seen that the motion of the slider is say from O to A and having a linear sliding velocity V and angular velocity in a anti-clockwise direction so the FCC component is acting in the direction of the linear angular velocity when the direction is same in both the cases uh, what I mean to say is if V is the velocity of the slider B and omega is the angular velocity of link OA then by reversing the direction of angular velocity the direction of FCC is changing though it is always perpendicular to the motion of the slider it is always say, perpendicular to OA as in this figure but as omega is changing from anti-clockwise to clockwise its direction is changing from left to right or vice versa in the same way as in this figure v is in downwards direction that is from a to o in the first case that is in figure 3 it is in right direction whereas when the direction of omega is root changed from anti-clockwise to clockwise it moves from moves in the right direction but still it is perpendicular to the motion hope you are clear with the correlation acceleration now for more videos you can subscribe Gagan Bansal on YouTube by this following link or for any queries you can mail me at the mentioned mail IDs thank you